Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a screen pump effect and a screen pump transition right in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. I've never really been a big fan of the overuse of effects. I love color grading, I love sound design, but when it comes to effects and transitions and stuff, I'm kind of a minimalist. Now, that being said, every once in a while, throwing in a fancy transition or some kind of special effect actually does up the quality of your videos. And one of those effects that I actually am a kind of a big fan of is called the screen pump effect. Now the screen pump effect is most commonly used in, let's say commercials with upbeat music or even music videos, but it can also be used to create a transition in like upbeat cinematic sequences and stuff like that. And in DaVinci Resolve, it's actually really easy to do the screen pump effect right in the edit page. You don't have to go to color or fusion or anything like that. It's it's just a matter of adding some keyframes and adjusting them and you're done. It's really, really easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Let's jump in and take a look. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve. I've already got an audio clip and a video clip lined up and ready to go. The first thing that we wanna do is set markers at each one of the bass drum hits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play through this music. We're gonna hit the M key on our keyboard every time we hear that bass drum. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And once we're done with that, let's make sure that our video clip is selected. We're gonna put our playhead over at that first marker and move back two frames, one, two. I'm gonna go ahead and set a keyframe for the zoom. We're gonna move forward two frames, one, two, and we are going to change that zoom to 1.15. And really you can set that zoom to whatever you want but I just find it works a little bit better when it's at 1.15. Go ahead and hit enter, move forward two frames again, one, two, and bring that zoom back to one. Hit enter. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to our video clip and we're gonna hit the keyframe icon and you can see the keyframes that we set. And what we're gonna do, and this is really cool, this is super fast, we're just gonna go ahead and draw a box around those keyframes, hit Control C to copy. We're gonna go to the next marker. We're gonna move back two frames, one, two, and we're gonna hit Control V. And you can see that that pasted those keyframes, so we don't have to keep redrawing them. We can just go to each marker and continue to copy and paste like so. And now that we've got the basic screen pump effect down, let's take a look at how to create a transition. All right, next thing that we wanna do is stick our playhead where we're going to make our transition. We're gonna do that at this marker right here. Let's go ahead and close out our keyframes to give us a little bit more room to work. And we will go ahead and cut this video clip and get rid of the excess. Next, we're gonna take our second clip. We're gonna drag that down into our timeline. Go ahead and trim that off at the end. And then what we're gonna do is come back to our transition point and we're gonna move backwards four frames. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go ahead and cut our first video clip. Move back to our transition point and move forward four frames. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go ahead and cut that. And then we're gonna take these two smaller clips in the middle and we're gonna make a new compound clip. So we're just gonna highlight those, right click, new compound clip, and call this screen pump transition and hit create. Next thing we're gonna do is open up our keyframes in our first clip. We're gonna go ahead and highlight a set of keyframes. Go ahead and hit control C to copy. We're gonna select our compound clip. We're gonna go to our marker and we're gonna move backwards two frames, one, two. And we're gonna go ahead and hit Control V to paste. Let's go ahead and open up our keyframes there and you can see that we have pasted our screen pump keyframes right there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my marker and I'm actually going to increase the zoom here a little bit, maybe to 1.3, because it'll make for a better transition. And then for good measure, let's go ahead and copy our original keyframes over here on the second clip. 
All right, next thing we're going to do is add a prism blur to our compound clip just to make the transition a little bit smoother and actually a little bit more cool looking. Let's go ahead and select that compound clip. We're going to come over to our effects library. We're going to go to open effects. We're going to grab a prism blur effect and we're going to drag that onto our compound clip. Let's go over to our inspector and go to the open effects. You can see we've got our prism blur right here. Let's put our playhead right in the middle. We're gonna move backwards two frames. We're gonna bring the blur strength all the way down. We're gonna bring the aberration strength all the way down. We're gonna bring the vignette size all the way down. Let's go ahead and set some keyframes. We're gonna go ahead and put our playhead back at our marker and we're gonna bring that blur strength up a little bit. Not too far. That looks good right there. Let's go ahead and bring up our aberration strength, our aberration distance, and our vignette size. And then we'll move forward two frames again. And we'll bring our blur strength and our aberration distance, our aberration strength, and our vignette size all the way down. Now, if this isn't for you and you don't want to be bothered by creating your own transitions, then you can use what are called drag and drop transitions. And if you want to learn more about that, make sure you check out this video right here. And if you found this useful and you want to learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.